What is up, guys? All right, me and uh, Spidey here are hanging out <laughs> close to the door because my apartment's kind of a mess right now, and it's the only spot I could find that was relatively open. This is going to be a quick post. A question for those, probably I'm only going to get responses from those of you who watch my videos regularly, so I know who you guys are. I'm thinking of you when I'm posting this. Uh, a question for you. What do you think of the current state of this comic book market? Damn, man, huh? Damn. Um, you know, when stock market issues first started surfacing, their ripple effect in the comic book market and some other collectibles markets was felt, uh, you know, starting a few months back. Nothing major, but there was some obvious signs that something was happening. If you monitor that kind of thing, you know what I'm talking about. Um, some people started freaking out. <laughs> some people who've, you know, just ex been expecting a burgeoning market to never stop growing started flipping their shit. Um, others have been a little bit more leveled in their reactions. I'd like to think I'm one of those people, but hey, I'm biased, obviously. Uh, but I'm digressing here. My reason for this post is to ask you guys what you think is going on right now. What types of books you've noticed have taken the biggest hits? Uh, if you think that this bubble, so to speak, has burst, um, what you foresee in the future, you know? Uh, my answer to those questions is pretty simple. Uh, I don't think the bubble has burst. Uh, I think, if anything, we're taking a pause. Um, I do think that this being the first sign of a plateau for many of the newer collectors uh, will change a lot of the buying habits of a lot of us. I would hope at least. I would hope. <laughs> Come on people. But you know, a lot of us never learn. A lot of us never learn, so we'll see. Um, but what I mean by that is hopefully we can curtail some of this craziness that happens with first appearances you know, on books when there's movie announcements or D-list TV series announcements, all that crap. Hopefully that will curtail some of that craziness where you see the giant bump in prices that then immediately just flops on its face when the market decides that it's done with the book. You know, it's just... Not only is it annoying for those of us who are looking to get certain books and can't and have to wait for two or three years, you know, um, just because we're not willing to pay what speculators and dealers are encouraging right now, or at least used to be, uh, for a lot of books. You know, for that reason, it just irritates me. But it also creates an incredibly volatile market when it comes to uh, this type of economy that we're now in, right? It's just, it's all fueled on emotions, and very little of it is based off of anything factual other than announcements, right, that people are reading on different pages. Again, I'm digressing. But... That's my answer. I don't think the bubble has popped, so to speak. I do think that we're going to see some different buying habits uh, and different sort of patterns uh, when it comes to a lot of the big books. Um, as a result of what's happened now, I think the responses will be more measured, I hope. But uh, I think there's still room to grow. I really do. And I've looked back at some of my older videos of where I was talking about the uh, I think I called it investing tips. Kind of embarrassing, but I think I did call it that back then. You know, thinking about this hobby as an investment strategy, ooh, dangerous, dangerous, right? Um, can work out for some of us, but very dangerous. Part of the problem is that so many have started to think about the money side of comics, if you like these more important books, and many of us never thought about it before, right? And it's kind of colored our perception of what was once... I guess a more pure hobby. You know, I'm not old enough to really be speaking to that with any real genuineness. I mean, for me, I feel like back when I was a kid, it was already messed up. <laughs> the 90s were the turmoil, you know, the leftovers of collectors, just, well, not collectors, but, you know, speculators and the like, kind of having their first big hit on this, on this hobby. And for me, that kind of thing, you know, a collectible, aspect of the comic book has always been around so it's hard for me to even imagine a time when it was 
when the art form was really that pure, you know, that's why I like a lot of the older books. That's why I keep going back further and further and further in time. But wow, look at me. I've carried on about randomness here and there. This was supposed to be a short post. I'm already over five minutes. I'm going to shut the hell up. My questions for you guys, do you think the bubble has burst? What do you think is going to happen in the future here? Do you think that there will be certain types of books or certain specific books that are going to take the heavier hits? versus maybe still stay strong as far as gaining value? That's my type of question for you. And for those of you who don't like this uh, money talk side of comics, keep living in your dream world, man. You can't ignore it anymore. It's inevitable. If you like these bigger books, you have to consider the money side of this, unless you got a million extra bucks sitting in your pocket, I guess, and then you don't got to worry about it. But for those of us living on a more stringent budget but still have the more champagne-type tastes, yeah, on that beer budget, it's something to think about. And a lot of us like talking about it, so I hope to get some response going. That's it. Later on, guys. Later on, me and Spidey are going to hopefully find a little more room for ourselves here in this crowded apartment.